Hey there, my name is Angela and welcome to Glittering the Coast. Today I'm going to show you a glitter pen tutorial and it's really easy to do. Uh, usually I just do an ombre method to this and they turn out super pretty. Oops, dropped that one. But these pencils are pencil pens. They're super easy to make and they're really pretty and fun and great teacher gifts. So I always recommend these for teacher gifts and end of the school year gifts. So I use a Paper Joy, Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen. And the reason why I like these is because you can take everything apart, pull all the pieces out, remove the clip, and they're easy to fit on dowels. So if you see anything that I'm using here, it's, everything's going to be linked in the description. So what I'm doing now, after I remove all the parts, I take my little sander, actually do my nails with this little sander. I have three spots on my pen that I um, remove all of the rough spots on and it only takes just a second to do. And after that I will go to the sink and wash with Dawn dish soap and water and then I'll spray paint the pen and usually with my pencil pens I use a Rust-Oleum 2 times clear and I spray the top part kind of where the eraser would be. I spray that in a pink and then on the rest of the pen, I just spray paint in yellow. And so I'm using KS Resin um, for my epoxy method. You mix it uh, two parts. So I use a medicine cup and I make sure that the I have about five milliliters of epoxy in my cups. And I'm doing a total of 12 pens today, but for the tutorial, I'm just doing about three. Um, but um, in the meantime, I'm doing a lot of other pens as well. Uh, five milliliters is really the only amount that's small enough that I can use, and so that's what I'm using. With the epoxy, it really loves to have heat, so make sure that your room is set to at least 72 degrees. Uh, with the base coat I'm using, it is not the liquidy split, it's just the regular um, Ultra UV, and it's a great epoxy from KS Resin. There's a discount um, in the description, so if you're looking for a great epoxy, go ahead and click that link and get some savings. We save about 5%. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a very small amount of epoxy and I'm putting it all over the pen. I want to make sure that I don't get any epoxy in the top of the pen or at the very bottom. That's a lot of work um, to just be wasted if you put way too much epoxy in there. A little bit goes a long way. After that, I will be using the following four glitters. Uh, this first one is Pinkie Pie. And it may look a little strange, but what I do is make sure that the glitter is nice and flat in the jar. And I take my pen and I just kind of stick it in there and I roll it around in the glitter. I find doing that makes it a little bit easier where I don't have to make um, a mess on the paper and it's easier for me to do an ombre that way. And so that one is Pinkie Pie by KCC Glitter. I've got a description, uh, a coupon code in the description, so be sure to check that out. The second one is also by KCC Glitter. It's called Bubbly. It's a nice gold color. Like I said, I'm kind of doing an ombre method here and um, freehanding all of my glitter. That one's a pretty gold, put that at the bottom. Next is a silver holographic, and I can't remember the brand of this one, but it's a really pretty shiny silver color. Put a little bit too much glitter there, so I'm just wiping it off just a little bit. And you should always use gloves. Do as I say, not as I do. Epoxy can be toxic, so until fully cured. And this last glitter is a really pretty bright yellow glitter. It is Sunshine Daisies, also by KCC Glitter. All the glitter names are gonna be in the description. So be sure to check that out. All of the items that I use are also going to be in there. So we're going to let this glitter completely soak up into the epoxy and it's going to dry. This one dries for about eight to 10 hours. And I'm taking now my KS Resin Liquidly Split Ultra UV, and this one dries in about two hours. Um, so I've spray painted the pins now, 
with Rust-Oleum two times clear and I let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. And what that uh, spray paint does is it makes sure that my glitter doesn't move in case it uh, wasn't fully adhered to the epoxy. It just makes it so that I don't get pink, silver, yellow, gold into the other places that I don't want it to be. So like I did at first, you make sure that you have the epoxy all over the pen. This time you're going to take a good amount of epoxy. You're going to spread it all over the pen and make sure you don't get it in the top or in the bottom part. And then after you've got it completely coated, you take your heat gun, or excuse me, your torch, and you just torch any micro bubbles that may be there, and you put it on your turner. Now these pins will turn for about two hours before they're ready to have another coat of epoxy on. And what I have the uh, pins turning on is the foam insert that you would put inside of a tumbler and it's linked in the description. And then I have a rubber band that's wrapped around the foam twice so that the pins can go in between the little slits of the foam turner, of the foam piece. And then, um, then it goes in between the rubber, the dowels go in between the rubber band and the foam turner. Um, so it helps if you just don't have anything specifically for pins. I like this because I can put a cover on top of them easily and all of the pins just spin um, without getting any dust on them. So with these I do two coats of epoxy on them and after those two coats of epoxy I can sand and then put on um, any sort of decal that the customer wants, which is typically a name for these types of uh, pencil pens. They're really, really cute for um, teacher gifts and any teacher would love them. I think anybody in general would love this type of pen. So once again, they're going to spin for about two hours before you can add a, another coat of epoxy on. And if you need them to um, be done so that you can sand them. Just make sure that again your room is set to at least 72 degrees with temperature and your humidity needs to be low. I think mine usually sits about 50% and uh, the resin really reacts to it pretty good. I hardly ever have sticky pens or sticky cups and if I do the way to kind of combat that is to sand off um, that sticky layer and then once you sand off the sticky layer you want to wash and with soap and make sure it's completely dry and then you can go in with some more epoxy. I can't tell you how many of these pencil pens that I've made. I've made so many and I really like the ombre method. I've done it before with two-sided tape where you have to be like really particular with where you put the tape and where it ends and I just really like this method a whole lot better. So now that there's two coats of, pox of epoxy on the pens, you're going to take fine grit sandpaper and you'll go over any of the small bumps that you may have and make sure that the top and the bottom part are nice and smooth. So if you're having any issues on the bottom where, um, where you would actually write, you can take an X-Acto knife and go around it very gently and make sure that it's nice and smooth and then go back in with sanding. After you sand, you want to make sure that everything is nice and dry and dust free. And for this one, I'm going in with different decals for one of my customers um, because it is almost Teacher Appreciation Week here in Florida. So I kind of messed up on that decal a little bit, but it was totally fine. Everything worked. So I use a Silhouette cutting machine for all of my images. And it is set to 3 inches by 0.5. And that typically works for me for the pencil pens. Sometimes I do 2.5 and then sometimes I do 4 inches. So it just really depends on what kind of design I have on the actual pen and where it will fit in um, on the pen. So, you know, just adjust, adjust that accordingly to what your design is. Most of the time they'll have a Mr. or a Mrs. and my cutting machine likes to tear up all the small little periods or the 
uh, commas, and so I really appreciate it when it's just a simple name. So you see some other pins I've got going on there, and I'm doing a tutorial on that one, so check the description shortly, and if it's not already in there, it will be labeled like a beach glitter pin. So after I put on my decals, I spray the decals with Rust-Oleum 2 times clear, either in matte or clear, and or glossy, excuse me, and it just ensures that no epoxy is going to be getting underneath that decal. I don't want to create any more work than what I have to, and this is just a really good way of making sure that um, I don't have any extra work, extra sanding, uh, anything like that. A quick tip, if you do mess up and you have to strip the name, you can take that little file, uh, the drill that I had earlier in the video, and just sand off the name. And you can put on another coat of epoxy over that if you need to. And then you can go in with a name after afterwards. So there, there's no need to throw them away unless you get epoxy on the inside. So now that these are done, take them off of the dowels and you just start filling them back up. I have this container, um, I think it was from Michaels, but I'm going to link something in the description. This uh, is, has been very handy for me. Just start off with a silver, make sure that the black pieces go in next. Then you're going to add the actual pin writing part, and then you add the tops. With every single order, I make sure that I click the pins closed and open because you do not want to have any issues with your customer orders not uh, clicking properly. I do it on every single order, so it's very important to do. But like I said in all of my videos, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.